We're here today uh, to recognize some officers who did an amazing thing a few weeks ago. Uh, there's been a lot of negativity around uh, police departments in the last couple weeks in the national press. I wanted to do something today that actually highlighted some of the great work they're doing. Uh, this is a particular avenue of mine that I've had a great interest in. What I'm going to recognize here in just a moment is some officers who were able to administer Narcan uh, to a person in their custody, thus saving his life. Narcan has been something for those that don't know it's a way of reversing a opioid overdose. It's basically a way of saving a person's life. Uh, I've been a big proponent of mine uh, for my entire career. Back when I was a circuit judge, I required my probation officers to carry Narcan on their person when they were doing visits because they never knew when they might encounter someone. And it's my understanding Somersville Police Department requires it to be carried in their vehicles, which I think is a great thing. Uh, I would first like to ch thank uh, Somersville Police Chief uh, John Nowak, uh, number one, for that policy. Uh, that's not always, if I remember eight to ten years ago, you probably had some issues with some officers having that type of policy. And then I've got some individual officers I'd like to recognize as well. The first, I'm going to tell you what happened and I'm going to recognize the officers. My understanding, uh, Corporal Steve Mullins was on patrol uh, he uh, noticed an individual who was not complying with the traffic laws of the state, uh, tried to initiate a traffic stop. Uh, the person initially ran from him. Uh, their vehicle then broke down. He ran, uh, was able to be apprehended a short time later. Uh, Corporal Mullins noticed there was some plastic bags laying around the person, asked him if he had ingested anything he shouldn't have. Uh, Initially, the person said no, but then he said he had uh, ingested some uh, drugs. Those drugs turned out to be fentanyl. Um, Corporal Mullins then uh, contacted for backup uh, Patrolman Carruthers and Patrolman Woods, uh, who initially were going to transport him to an EMS or an ambulance. Uh, as they began to transport him, they noticed that the person was suffering some distress. His lips were getting blue, things of that nature. Uh, Patrolman Carruthers then administered Narcan to him, and Patrolman Woods then supported him, uh, keeping him awake, essentially keeping him alive, uh, until they were able to get him to EMS and ultimately the hospital. I think the actions, both of the Summersville Police Department as a whole, and as Corporal Steve Mullins, Patrolman Tyler Crothers, and Patrolman Ryan Woods is something that deserves recognition by this community. Uh, when I heard of this, I thought let's do a ceremony and that's why we're here today. So I have something to present to each of the officers who are involved. And for Corporal Steve Mullins, I have this. This where's the challenge coin. Congratulations, Thanks, sir. All right. Likewise, for Patrolman Tyler Brothers, I have you a challenge coin in this. Thanks, sir. Thank you. And for Patrolman Ryan Woods, the same. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to thank you all for your, your service. Thank you for coming here today. And I think this should be a message. Uh, to not only all police departments, to all of West Virginia. Uh, Narcan is li literally something that can save someone's life. And the fact that these officers were able to do that, um, I think deserves some recognition. 